So let's talk about why a chiropractor may be helpful for the treatment uh, or management of concussion. In the acute stages, chiropractors are often closest to the athletes. A lot of chiropractors work very closely with various teams and most of their practices are built on an athletic population. So oftentimes I'm the first person that any of my athletes or patients will see following an injury. They're seeing me for various ailments, tune-ups, things like that, keeping their body in, in tip-top shape for competition. So when an injury happens, I'm often the first one to know about it. Um, and I am a chiropractor for those that don't know. Um, so naturally, just based on where chiropractors are and where we operate, oftentimes we are the most accessible professional. And this also goes for PTs, ATs, people that work on the front lines in the sports world, often we're the first to get injuries. Um, so if you do have a chiropractor that you frequently see for injuries, they may be able to help you with concussion. But the caveat here is that they need to have more advanced concussion training. Concussion isn't something that's covered in any healthcare discipline on the curriculum. Uh, studies were done recently in Canada finding that the majority of Canadian medical schools didn't have concussion on the curriculum at all. And those that did, uh, originally they found there was less than half an hour covered in the four years of school. Uh, chiropractic curriculum in Canada was found to have 14 hours of concussion education throughout the chiropractic career um, uh, in the educational system. So uh, that is a little bit more, but it's still not enough to be really proficient in the area of concussion. So look for chiropractor. If you want to go to a chiropractor, find one that has specific training with respect to um, concussion. And this goes for all rehab professionals as well, all healthcare professionals as well. Concussion is not something that just because you're a doctor you know about, or just because you're a PT you know about. It's something that you need additional training on, so make sure you're looking for that. Next, the evidence surrounding concussion is finding that the treatments are rehabilitation. The best treatments for people that have persistent concussion symptoms are subsymptom threshold exercise, visual vestibular rehabilitation, treatment of the neck, both manual and rehabilitation, education and reassurance, psychological interventions like cognitive behavioral therapy and others. Um, and now a, a, a kind of a newer one is, is hormone replacements, looking at hormone deficiencies. So out of that list of six or seven of the best, most evidence-based treatment options that there are, PT, Cairo, AT, OT falls into you know, five of the seven. Um, and so we're very well positioned to be able to kind of be frontline providers in this space. But again, it comes down to somebody that has education and knows how to take those skill sets and put them all together with respect to concussion specifically, because concussion is a bit of a unique beast.